Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Hai Feng Niu uh, from London Economy. I'm a uh, first year PhD student. And I'm, today, I'm going to talk about the NAMI project that I worked with uh, Dr. Elizabeth, uh, my supervisor. And uh, the title is uh, Cortisol Data in Mining Spatial Urban Activities. Well, the current wave of the information and the communication uh, technology, we would call ICTs, uh, has uh, bring that world to the uh, data, uh, data revolution. And uh, according to the, uh, as a type of big data, Cortison data uh, refers to the data volunteered, uh, volunteered uh, by the individuals, uh, resolution uh, in the, uh, institutions and the companies. Uh, after that, we do the uh, systematic literature, uh, literature review and found the application of Cortison data on urban activity analysis. And we found that uh, most of the researchers focus on the spatial analysis, uh, not on, uh, but cannot find the in-depth analysis uh, for some complex uh, problem. So in this mini project, we propose uh, three research questions. The first one is uh, know the, the, the check-in data of social media, how, how they distribute in uh, Cambridge, and uh, what the, uh, uh, the spatial segmentation uh, they are. And the second, uh, second question is about the Different uh, the social economic of those kind of data we can uh, we can get. So the, the methodology is quite simple. The first one is uh, we uh, we get the data through the open API like the example shown on the right, and they do the cleaning and do the spatial analysis with geo geotag the tweets and uh, do some statistical analysis for some social and economic analysis. And uh, this some rudimentary result we got. This is uh, in Cambridge. We got uh, most uh, 2,300 uh, tweets in uh, in Cambridge, and we identified five uh, hotspots uh, in the Cambridge. And in each hotspot, uh, we do some questionnaires uh, and to for some uh, soft data uh, uh, soft data collection. Well, uh, the, there is another uh, case that we did uh, in. Uh, in a, uh, you know, in a different data, uh, di uh, data environment, uh, you know, another digital world, uh, China, and of we, do, we choose a different kind of type of cortisol data by using uh, geotagged images to identify the, the, the hotspot. And uh, for now, we just do the spatial levels of uh, those kind of cortisol data application on analysis of uh, urban activities. And that's the level we will continue to, con uh, to conduct the social economic analysis uh, on this on, on this uh, crowdsourcing data, and um, yeah, that would be all. And thank you for your listening, and thank you for the C uh, CDBB.